can start. Um, so yeah, um, uh, well, uh, I introduce Carolina, which is a, a, yeah, a colleague, and she's uh, well, uh, our one of our senior uh, CVCRM implementers and consultants. But she also has a degree on uh, fundraising. So uh, yeah, she's uh, she knows a lot of the subject and. Um, yeah, I mean, let's, we'll pass the screen to her and be here moderating or helping if anything is needed. So, okay, uh, I will share my my screen now. Oops, I. Okay. Uh, so as Alejandro was saying, we'll be talking about uh, a fundraising tool that is CVCRM is already, uh, has already some functionalities that uh, are included by default. Uh, but this new extension, what it's going to do, is, uh, what it does is improve the, the, the use of these functionalities. Uh, so, well, uh, welcome to you all to, um, uh, well, to this presentation. So, um, uh, why are, um, why are uh, how did we get to think about this, uh, this tool? Because as Alejandro said, some organizations were already asking for this uh, functionality. Um, and, and, and then after all the, the crisis, the, the new situation that we have lived in, we've realized that it's a, it's a tool that is very flexible and very easy to implement. So uh, for these kinds of, of situations, it has become really, really, really useful for all the organization. So the, the coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, has put on hold many, many key moments in the fundraising calendar, including marathons and other sport events. Like uh, in the, on, on April 26, the fourth edition of the London Marathon that should have been held. It is a milestone for sports and citizens uh, of the British capital. And the, the race is not only the most popular marathon on the planet, but it's also a date mark on the calendar for international fundraising. But in this edition, it has uh, reinvented, reinvented uh, himself. And although it has not uh, reached the figures uh, that it, it did in 2019, uh, thank, thank you to online tools. He has still been reaching 11 million euros. So the London Marathon is an example of the, the digital reconversion that has taken over social causes, causes for the last three months around the world. Um, and uh, among these uh, online, uh, online tools, uh, we, so in Ixian, we've been working uh, with uh, this new fundraising peer-to-peer -peer extension. And what is uh, fundraising peer-to-peer? -peer? Well, uh, some, of, uh, some of you might already, might already know, but just a quick uh, basic concept. Uh, in the nonprofit world, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising uh, is a specific form of crowdfunding that have become incre increasingly prevalent um, peer to peer fundraising is a multi tier approach to crowdfunding. This means individuals can create personal fundraising page, pages from, from your causes they have. This can fix uh, revenue back to your organization as a whole or to a specific campaign you're running. Either way, the individual shares his, his or her page with friends, family, and community members for donations. Is this ability to draw on your network, on your networks, network and increase donations and allow you to reach new pools and donors that might have been uh, not accessible uh, otherwise. As a result, uh, supporters are more self-assured self in their involvement and are willing to share their message as it relates to, to, to yours with other people. Uh, this individual investment in your cost can lead to high fundraising goals and a personal desire to see your campaign succeed. Yeah, as Alejandro said also before, peer-to-peer -peer campaigns also increase trust before your organization and new potential support supporters as they are learning about your cost uh, through a friend's page. 
so typical examples of uh, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers are the ones that we are seeing every day in, in social network like Instagram or Facebook, like challenges or celebrations that individuals are publishing, uh, inviting other people to donate for their birth birthdays instead of giving a, a present, and all, 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 the, all the money that they are raising, uh, they, are, they will be donating it to a to, a, uh, to an uh, ONG. So what does CVCRM, um, uh, well, sorry, I'm not using the slides anymore. Uh, how does CVCRM already um, use these functionalities? Well, uh, some, some of you might, might already use them through the events or contribution pages. Uh, once you create an event in CVCRM, there is a tab uh, called personal campaigns that, that just, uh, allows you to enable it. And once you enable it, that uh, uh, allows you to give some configuration. And that will make that at the end of the event registration, the user uh, will see a link where that it will lead uh, to the possibility of to create a personal campaign. That means to include a, a message, a picture, and, and then to be able to share through a link this campaign uh, with all within uh, this person's social network, no? it, it's Facebook, Instagram, or other social media in uh, their own blog also. So through this sharing, uh, this person will be inviting other people in the case of events to register to that event. In the case of contribution pages, uh, it will be inviting these other people to donate to this uh, camp special campaign uh, this person has created with the pictures and message of his own, but is that is um, uh, fundraising money for the organization directly. But what are the limitations that we that we found on the current functionalities of CVCRM? Uh, well, this, uh, the users that uh, 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 that publish these campaigns are publishing publishing them in uh, like in social media, in their blogs. So there is not a brand aware awareness of the, of the organization because some, some, most of the times people is donating to the challenge or to the celebration of this person, but it's not even realizing uh, where is the money going? What is the organi organization that is behind this project? No? So this, uh, it gets a little lost in the way. Um, also, uh, there is not real control at, uh, over where is this person publishing the, the personal campaign. So um, sometimes because of the image of the organization that some, of, some, some places might not be uh, ideal to publish some, time, some, uh, some kind of projects. So that's where it comes, the, uh, the, the extension that we have created through, through a platform. Uh, and the, uh, in this platform, all projects are published together. When I'm talking about projects, I am talking about contribution pages that uh, they come by default in CVCRM. They are the, tip, the usual tool to create, uh, 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 to, uh, well, to fundraise for, for donations. Um, so all projects are published in, in the same platform. Um, uh, this creates a, a brand awareness. They are directly related to the, to the organization. Uh, it also um, gives, uh, uh, creates uh, more contact to the web, to the web page. No? Like it, all this content is created by outside users uh, that are filling with all these, these uh, personal campaigns. Uh, the, the website content also creates more traffic because uh, people who is publishing their uh, personal campaigns are uh, informing their family, friends, neighbor, colleagues uh, at work. So all these people is going to the organization page to donate to this, uh, to this personal campaign. Uh, and also other advantages that the platform is integrating is that uh, as Alejandro said, all the, uh, all the money that is, uh, that is don donated to the, uh, to the project uh, goes directly to the organization uh, through, through a payment pro processor that is integrated 
within the contribution page. So all donations, no, and not only donations, not only money goes directly to the bank account of the, of the organization, but also all the data, like all the data of the new donors that are donating goes directly to the CVCRM of the organization. So it can directly go over and track and do the, 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 well, the Thank you. Uh, after fundraising uh, project, yes, uh, that's it. So I will show you now because uh, maybe I'm talking, but I'm not showing how it works. So it's, uh, it's going to be more easy if I share how is it actually working. I will, so this is how, uh, how the platform will look like. Uh, so uh, it will, it is in this case, it's a, with a Drupal page uh, with some entries where we can give maybe some tips on how to create a, a personal campaign. Or, and we will include in, wait, we'll be including, sorry, we'll be including uh, all the projects here. These projects are, as I said before, uh, I said I'm talking about projects, but they are really a uh, contribution pages. So I will show you how, how we'll get to the contribution pages. We are now in the CVCRM demo site. So through the contribution menu, if we go to manage contribution pages or create new contribution page, this time we will go to manage contribution pages. And uh, here we can see all the con contribution pages we have available and we have enabled. So they will be showing if we publish them in our platform. So we will first go uh, and configure our project. Uh, like in this case, it's a glove and mask project. We will give a, like a, a usual contribution page. We will give a, a title, financial type, uh, some message, a starting date. And it's over here uh, where we get one of the tabs that I was talking about before. This is uh, already a default uh, functionality in CVCRM, personal campaigns. And here is where we will enable it. We, we will mark uh, if we want approval required. That means that when someone outside the organization creates the, their personal campaign, uh, it will not be published directly, but we will first get the message. Here we will set up the, the, the email where we want, we want to get the message that someone has created a personal campaign. And then we will, we will revise the campaign and we'll choose to approve or, or not approve the, the campaign that has been uh, created from a outside, from a personal, from an outside organization. Uh, also, uh, when we, we can configure if uh, we want the user who created the personal campaign to receive uh, messages for all the donations that are done to their personal campaign or if we want the user the final user to choose if he wants to get once he configures their personal campaign if he wants to, uh, to choose if they want to receive uh, notifications when someone does a donation to their campaign and some other features so once we enable it uh, uh, we will have already our contribution page uh, completed um, we will create together also a Drupal campaign, so it can be also um, published in the uh, in the platform. So, and we will relate it to the contribution page, like here, for example, guantes y mascarillas. Well, here is in Spanish. Uh, we can we can introduce a picture, a message, uh, and we will give the same idea of the contribution page. And once we've done that, that's how it will look like in our platform. Once you've created your contribution page associated it with the Drupal con uh, context, it will look like like that, and it will be published in your in your platform. And what can what can a user do when it gets to this uh, to this uh, landing page? Uh, he will be he will be seeing all projects, um, and so he will he uh, he will be choosing one of the projects that he feels more more comfortable with or more attached with perhaps. And once inside the project, uh, he can choose to do different actions. One is to donate directly to the project because he already feels attached to the project and it or identifies. 
Uh, sorry. I sorry, just a moment. Uh, or he can create uh, its own campaign, like I will explain a little later. Uh, so because he already has a challenge or a celebration that wants to publish and invite all his her friends to to donate. Or maybe he, he finds any other personal campaign that any other ex external user has created and he feels attached to it because he, fits, he feels or she feels that it's a, a, an appealing campaign. So he can directly donate to someone else's personal campaign. So this is the three things uh, he could be doing, like donate to the project, create his own, her own campaign, or donate to any other personal campaign. So this is all the content that we, that all uh, that external uses are creating for our, our web page. No, so this is also involving the community and creating networks. So, and once we, if we want to see what's going on in the personal campaigns, like uh, we could go in this personal campaign. And we, we can see how, how much it's been, it's been raised already. Sorry, here, how much it's been raised already. What's the goal of the, that it has been set up with, uh, in the personal campaign? If someone left a message uh, to encourage the person who, who, who created this personal campaign, or we can go and donate uh, directly. Um, yeah, we just can go, no, and we will find uh, 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 normal, a uh, normal uh, profile uh, to to fill, uh, and we can just go and contribute to the personal campaign. Oh, sorry, we have to introduce my email. Here is the, like I said, uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, that's the, the by default functionality that once we have contributed to a, to a, a contribution page, we get a link where that's the, that's the by default functionality, we get a link where we can create a, a personal campaign. So from here, if after donating, I feel like uh, I wanna create my own personal campaign to support the organization. So I just could go directly from here uh, and create the, the campaign. The campaign, um, to create a personal campaign, I will have configured which profile I want the users to fill in. So uh, for example, I, uh, I'm only, only going to re uh, require the first last name, I mail uh, an email to be filled in. So for example, uh, very good. Uh, and this this will be was the person person who is creating the personal campaign uh, that what they will have to fill in so they will have to choose a tad a title for their campaign uh, for example uh, uh, a new three every day. Uh, leave a message. I will plant a tree every day. Uh, maybe including why they are they why are why they want to raise uh, money for this uh, organization to encourage other people to to get involved with this organization or to present what what is the impact that this the organization is having on the community. No, so we can include whatever we want. We want we can set a goal. Uh, we can choose to include, uh, if we want to include a, a progress bar or not. Uh, we can include a picture. Let's go down to sample picture, for example. And then to choose if we want to include the honor roll or not, uh, and some other features. Yeah, and our our contribution campaign, it should be already uh, created. So then if we go to, to CVCRM to see what has happened inside the, the, the back office, uh, 
we will be checking our uh, personal campaign pages. Um, the personal campaign pages in the, within the contributions menu. Oops, sorry. And we will see here a new tree every day. That's the personal campaign uh, I have uh, created by, by Mary Good uh, related to the Glove and Mask project, but it, that is still pending from revision for, from the organization. So if I go to review the, the personal campaign, I'm a member of the organization, and I can see that it's created, that it's created the respecting the, the organization a, bueno, a regulations or so I, I will go and we'll say okay I approve it I think it's a it's an interesting uh, personal campaign with no problem so I choose to approve it so once the campaign is approved it, if we go back to our uh, to our platform once we go to the project where the personal campaign is related, we can already see the campaign I've just the outside user have have, scre have created. Hi, this is uh, Tina. Hi, Tina. It's Jen with Supreme Self Storage. How are yeah, you? Yeah. Hi. Good. Thank you. Uh, Dina, sorry. This is calling because your credit card was declined on the twentieth. <laughs> Thank you, Dina. So is, is, that, is that easy? So just through, through a really simple um, profile, the person has filled in some basic uh, information and then has included some title, picture, and in, once the, the personal campaign is approved, it will be published directly in the, on the platform. So I don't know if I'm running out of time. Uh, or I'm still okay on time. So maybe it's more interesting if you want to place some questions, even if I still have some more things to talk about, but maybe if you have some questions. We if have not... some more, uh, five more minutes or ah, okay. even, so. Mm -hmm. so. So this is uh, how it will look like. Um, so this will be mainly our platform uh, showing the projects that are contribution pages. Uh, if you have a, a role like the administrator role uh, or a special role that we have cre you have uh, created with a special permissions, you will be able also to create the new project directly from the platform. If you're only a user, you will not be seeing this, uh, these options. As I sh show you before, here it will be to create the contribution page as we did and then also the, the, Drupal, the Drupal page that will be related to the project. At the end of the page, you will be able to see all the, all the personal campaigns uh, that have been published. Like see, here, we have the new tree related to the Gloves and Max project. We also have uh, my birthday that is related to the same project and others that are related to other projects that will be able to see all the personal campaigns. So the, if the user comes in and feels a appeal to any of the these special campaigns can directly go and donate for them. Uh, also, how how this how this will look in the in the contact? Like if I go to my contact that just made a, a donation before in contribute in the tab contributions. Uh, well, here it shows that I did a, a ten dollars donation to the online contribution one drawing a day. That it was a personal campaign that it was created. Uh, also, when I want to show you this one that I did before to the same campaign, a donation of, uh, that is already completed so I can show you better. So if I go inside the contribution, I will see, okay, I did a 2,400 contribution uh, related to the one drawing a day personal campaign. Uh, but the campaign was, was not created by me. I'm only the donor to this campaign. The campaign was created by Jane, Jane Johnson. So one of, that's one of the tools that is very interesting to keep track of what is, what is happening uh, with the personal campaigns that outside users are creating. So uh, this is the person who created that personal campaign and is related to a soft credit to this donation. So if I go to her contact, to Jane, Jane Johnson, 
and I go to the contribution tab. Here I can see that this person has not made any contribution, but has two persons, when well, in this case it's the same person, that has uh, made a donation to her campaign. So he has not, she, she has not directly made a donation, but she has received donation from two, pers from two persons. So in her contact uh, information, we'll be able to see how her campaign is going, no? uh, uh, and what, what she, what she, how much is she raising. So th this will let us, after that, uh, track who is doing better, who is moving, the if, uh, if there are campaigns that are moving or they are not moving, so we can then uh, 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 follow uh, these uh, issues through, through schedule reminders or, or through trivi rules to send automatic emails when someone has not made any donation from a long, long time to a personal campaign. So to giving tips to this uh, fundraiser, to this person has, that has created a personal campaign on, on how to improve it, it's, uh, his or her personal campaign. So that will, uh, that will be useful. Also on the reports, there is a special report that comes by default uh, that it will show us what is going on also with personal campaigns. So it will show us uh, how many campaigns are going on, how much they have, they have raised in total, uh, how, much, how many donors have contributed to each campaign. Uh, so this will be really useful to, to track and, then, and, and know what is going on. And then maybe think, uh, give, so give thanks to the fundraisers, uh, give a special thanks to the fundraisers that have uh, get, get more contributions. So all these uh, actions that we'll be able to do uh, using the information we have gathered with, all, with this extension. Uh, so if you have any more question or any doubt, uh, you feel free, feel free to ask. If not, uh, I, mean, I don't know what's... Uh, this, this personal campaign, uh, it will be the contribution page, we, uh, the one that is linked to a, to a campaign. So like, for example, Ah, sorry, the question was, uh, I didn't even, if a personal campaign can be linked to a, to a campaign. Uh, not the personal campaign, not directly, but, but how all personal campaigns are related to a contribution page, the contribution page will be linked to a, to a campaign. Like if we go here to gloves and mask, it's a contribution page or a project, we said. Uh, here we'll be linking it to a to a campaign. No, so uh, the project will be linked to a campaign, and all the personal campaigns will be at the end uh, under this umbrella, um, under under this same campaign. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't really explain it, so it was a good question. Thank you. Um, other questions that we had in other webinars, uh, like for example, to set up a, an ending date for the campaigns, because uh, like not all personal campaigns maybe uh, are useful to be published uh, forever, no? So, and also to have an, an end up date is very encouraging for donors to, mm, to donate, uh, not to push them to donate. Uh, so this is uh, done uh, through the contribution page. The contribution page can have a, an end up date, not the personal campaigns, but it's something also that we might be working on it because uh, we think it, it can be very interesting also to have an end up date, also to be to control no, where, no, if uh, from the fundraising point of view to have a, com a personal campaign running for more than three months uh, usually it doesn't have that much sense. So uh, something like that will be very useful. And that's mainly all. I don't know if Alejandro, you want to add anything else or? Uh, there's another question for Dina. Uh, do 
northerners to a page producing them to a group and you can choose the question is how, how to most efficiently send email or communicate to all donors to a page will you send them to a group or uh, can you choose them all uh, and send uh, thank you for your question dina um, so uh, you can uh, you can if you uh, if you want to give thanks or it depends on the action you will you will be doing like if you want to give thanks to all donors uh, that have contributed to the personal campaign to a special personal campaign you will be uh, through a, uh, through an advanced search you will be able to identify the persons who have donated to this special personal campaign if you want to do it through a project or contribution page you can also do it like for example uh, if you go to an advanced search in contributions, you will be able to, uh, to um, filter uh, uh, choosing a personal campaign or several personal campaigns. And then you can identify the, uh, the contacts that have contributed to these personal campaigns. And then you can add them to a group, or you can even send them directly an email from here through the advanced search. That's the way. It depends on the action you you want to do at the end, but like from here, you could be, will be able already to add them to a group and then to use it from, uh, from CVC email and send them an email uh, and thank you email. Yes. <clears throat> okay. I don't know if that answers your question or it was a more detailed question or. Yeah, so I have a message from Nick and for all that it's, it's time to run to the other, to the main hall since they will start for some closing remarks. So, yeah. Okay, so thank you all. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for joining and we will be happy to discuss details if you want to know more about the feature. Uh, we're happy to get in touch with you. Okay, so thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye.